Hi there, I'm Paddy, and in this episode of Free Falling Through Canvas Apps, I'm going to show you how to use the for all function to take data in one table and merge it with data in another table to come up with a new table containing data from both. In this episode, we're going to look at doing that with the environment variables definition and the environment variables value tables. There we go. If you remember back to episode 13, we added an opportunity lost reason combo box. And how we populated that opportunity lost reason was using a configuration entity called EOM called EOM config. And if we remind ourselves what the data looked like in there, we had these option set values with an integer value of the integer which matched the value of the option set value in the common data service and a string label. And that's how we populated that combo box. And you can see the data source is a collection, op, loss, status, reason. And we collected the items in that, we populated that collection in the on start of our app. But as I mentioned in my last video, now that environment variables have been introduced into Power Apps, we want to try and get away from using that config entity. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. Since the last episode, I've set up some environment variables in our solution to accommodate our lost status reasons. So if we look at the outsold one, you can see that I've got a display name. That's the label of the option set value. A description, same as we did in the entity, it tells us that that's an opportunity lost status reason. I've made it a decimal number data type this time. The default value of 5, because that's something that change, and a current value of 5 as well. But if you remember, this is split into two different entities. So we're looking at two data sources. We're looking at the environment variable definition. And that's where our description and our label is stored and the current value which is our environment variable value that's where our value is stored because that value may change depending on what environment we import our environment variable into and to be clear what we're trying to achieve is a collection that looks like this table here it's got the value from the environment variables values table and the label that matches the display name of the environment variables definition table so let's have a look at how we'll use the for all function to build that collection. First, we only want to clear the collection at this stage. We don't want to collect until we're in the for all function. Now we use our for all, and the first parameter is a source, and for the source we'll filter the environment variable values data source. And we'll filter it so that the description attribute in the environment variable definition is equal to opportunity lost status reason. So we're only getting the lost status reasons. To think of a for all, it's a bit like a for each. So for each one of these entries in our source, we're going to collect a row in our op lost status reasons collection. The row is going to contain a value column, and the contents of that value column will be the value of the environment variable values row. And it's also going to contain a label. And that label will contain the display name of the related environment variable definition. Now if we run on start and then we have a look at what collections we've got, that's us achieved our goal there. Now all we have to do is fix any other formulas that reference that collection. And finally, update our combo box. So in that example, I took data from the environment variables definition table and the environment variables values table 
and I used about data in each to create my own collection. But you don't have to use the environment table, the environment variables table. You can use any table within your data source or from multiple data sources. So as you can see, using the for all with the collect function can be quite a handy tool. Till next time, blue skies.